In this episode of Toy Box Imagineering, I show you how to build a day-night cycle for your toy box. This is a really cool one, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with using it. Well hello everybody, it's Jason Haynes again from DizzyInfinity.tv or DITV.co and today I'm going to be showing you how to build, as I've already told you, a day and night cycle. Uh, for anyone who is not familiar with this show or is this the first time you've watched a show of this particular type, we call this Infinity Imagineering and the idea is that I produce or show you how to create an interesting um, combination of toys in the Dizzy Infinity toy box and then uh, we discuss post the tutorial what kind of cool things we could create using that item in the comments below. So without further delay let's get started with this uh, day and night cycle. Um, this is actually kind of cool. It's something that I've I've thought of uh, building for quite some time, and and uh, now that uh, I've got all the pieces unlocked and so on, it's it's quite possible. Uh, it is actually quite well. The way I do it is actually quite complex. It took a little bit, quite a bit of working out, but hopefully um, this will make sense to you. Um, I've actually got it. I had to, again. I spent quite some time setting this all up, and hopefully now it's um, good to go. But just follow along. But I highly recommend writing down what it is that I do as you go either with you or working alongside with me as I build it, or watching it later. Just write a schematic down, uh, a layout of how this is all hooked up, because it can get quite confusing. So. Obviously, I'm just going to build on a on a, a blank um, canvas, so to speak, and obviously we're going to need a sky changer. The other things we're going to need are some timers, but uh, I need to go to. This part is not absolutely necessary, but I find it easy because, as of this version, we can't label any of our toys. It makes it a little bit easier to track what each toy is doing and I'm looking for a block there's a ch color changing block in here somewhere here it is so what I'm going to do is going to place this down on my edge here got a bit of a gap so what each of these blocks is going to represent is a different um, time during the day so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just color these appropriately so I'm going to set this one here to yellow to represent the day. Set this one here to uh, is there a purple? No, I'll just go blue to represent twilight. Set this one to black to represent night. And I'll set this one to uh, blue again to represent twilight. So that's going to represent our day cycle. Um, so the next thing we're going to need uh, is some um, timers. Now, depending on the length of the day that you choose, length of the day and night that you choose will determine... Um, I just went off it, didn't I? Um, what kind of timer you use. If you want a relatively short day cycle, which is what we're going to build today because we're only building this for demo purposes. Um, yeah, if you're only doing it for demo purposes, um, I would use the time delayer. But if you want more of a significant time, you may want to use the timer instead. But I'm going to use the time delayer today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a time delayer on top of each of these blocks. Like that. Okay, perfectly. Now, in a nutshell, what we want to do is I'm going to hook these up. So the idea being that 
we've got to go when this delay completes I want you to start this one when this delay completes should have start this one when this one completes I want you to start this one and then when you complete I want you to go back to the start okay that quickly we have built our cycle so that will endlessly loop at the moment it has not started yet why don't we set that up now and we'll set that up with a um, a checkpoint alright so I'm going to put down a checkpoint I'll just put that well, I don't know no, I'll put the checkpoint over here doesn't really matter and what we're going to do to that checkpoint is we're going to just set it so we're going to go to the properties here we're going to go default for uh, default for player 1 uh, this all doesn't really matter again I'll set it to hidden Okay, so we're going to go new logic connection. So when checkpoint is set, any, we need, I want to uh, set the, I want to set the sky to day. And I think the best, or one of the best day sky domes is Metroville. And the other thing I wanted to do is um, when the checkpoint is set, any, we need to start that delay. Okay, so effectively, one when now when the player starts the level, it'll kick everything into motion, and then that that doesn't matter anymore. It'll just continue to go, you know, after it's uh, after itself. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is set the sky changing. Now, this is incredibly important, and this is where it gets confusing. You have to remember with both the um, timer and the delayer, the sky changes after the set time has been completed. Um, and trust me, that gets confusing. So what we're going to do is set this time to 10 seconds. I'll explain these times in a second. Again, we're just setting up here. Just get it. We'll set this to 20. Again, I'll explain this in a second. I'll just set this up. Pin. Property. I'll set this to 20. Okay. So this one, because... And again, this is why I put the colored blocks. I want to say... When the delay completes, I want you to change today. Metroville Sky. When this one completes, delay completed. Set to Disney Castle Twilight. When this one completes, set to pitch black. And a reminder, again, if you haven't seen any of my prior videos, Pitch Black Sky Dome is unlocked by picking up the Yeti, the giant Yeti that randomly appears in the Toy Box tutorial level. And this one... Delay completed. Go back to Twilight. Okay, so that effectively is probably the easiest part, but I want to make it a little bit more interesting. So what I want to do is I want to put in a new creative toy here, new to 2.0. I'm going to put in a text creator over here. And I want to generate some messages that display based on the time of day. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to put in the actual messages. I'm going to set the time to say four seconds. Set the type to banner so all the players see it. Okay, so in text one, I want to say new 
day. Right, it's got to be reviewed on the text got to be reviewed online there, being accepted, beautiful. Text two, I want to say night fall approaches. Text three, I want to say survive the night. And text four, I want to say a uh, uh, the sun is about to rise. Okay, so now I need to put down another set of time delayers because we don't want these texts to display like as soon as the sky changes some we kind of do some we don't no actually all of them we don't attend so we set up four new timers now the way we could hook these timers up is that we want to when this delay completes it needs to start this delay when this delay completes start this delay and so on delay complete start delay and when this one completes delay complete start delay now the good thing about this is setting it up this way when you first load into the toy box it won't display the new day message straight away um, which you'll see soon. Okay, so now each of these delayers need to display the right text. Your logic connection, delay completed. Display text one. Your logic collection, delay completed. Display text two. New logic connection, delay completed. Display text three. Delay completed. Display text four. Okay, now again, do yourself a favor and actually talk yourself through what's happening here. So, this top delay here is counting down, and once its time is delayed, it's going to change to the daytime sky dome. This timer here is sort of separate to that, but we know that we want this delayer to show the text that is relevant to the day which means a new day okay but we have to remember that it's this delayer over here that is actually starting this timer okay so we need to set its time to slightly longer than the timer for the dome for the day, which is, if we have look it up, look at this, so this is set at 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, the sky is going to change the day. And we want the message to display a smidge after that. So that's why we need to set this timer here to 12 seconds. So at this point here, it's sky dome change. Now let's set it to 13 seconds. So three seconds after we change to the day sky dome, we're going to display that message. Okay. This one here is a little different. This one here is saying nightfall approaches. So we want that message to display just at the near the end of the twilight period. Okay. Which means it's a bit of a, a combination because when this timer when this timer here finishes, it's going to start this one which means and this one here is set to 20 seconds and I should explain this is a good time to explain why I've set this to 20 seconds because again we're saying whatever the length of this timer is will determine how long the previous sky dome change is active for and it makes sense that you want a longer day and night cycle to the twilight cycles
because that's how it works. That that you only got a small amount of time that you have um, sunset and sunrise, and then a longer period for your day and night. Okay, so what we have to do there then is we have to go. Okay, so this has to last all of the time of the day plus the time that the twilight is on which is 20 seconds plus 10 seconds makes 30 seconds but we need to just roll it back a bit so we're actually going to set this delay to 24 seconds okay so it should display the text nightfall approaches just before the twilight is about to end with night we want the again like the the new day message to appear just after the um the 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 night begins so it's the 10 seconds uh length of the twilight plus three seconds okay to bring up that so that's going to display the night and then finally, uh, the sun is about to rise. Same reasoning as before. We'll set it to roughly 25. So it's the, it's the length of the night plus, plus the uh, twilight length um, that we want that last message to appear. Okay. So that should be the night cycle complete. The only other thing we're going to do here... Now, just again, just to show you, like, give you an idea of what kind of things you can do with this, because it's, you can really play with the idea of a day-night cycle. We're going to put two counters in here. And it's important to realize now, and again, that's why these colored blocks are so handy, you can now tie events to any of these here. So, for instance, every time we've got a new day, delay completed we could increment this counter increment by one go to the properties and we could set this to seven if we wanted to say um, uh, reset on target reach so now that actually is counting the days and then we could say every time that the target is reached we want to increment this one by one and now I'll just set this to uh, well, I'll just set it to seven for now um, off and so now that counter is actually tracking weeks we could represent that by going in here and creating a new new text let's go uh, week whoops week has passed done okay now I might just put in a time delayer just so it doesn't overlap anything let's put a time delayer in here right there will do set that to say four seconds Oh. oh, it's a timer. Doesn't matter. Does the same thing. Nah, it's too too long. Let's delete that one. Let's put in a time delay. Uh, hello. Right. All right. Set that to four seconds. One, two, three, four seconds. We're going to say uh, new logic connection when count changed. Start delay. When delay completed, display text five. Okay, so that's going to basically count how many days have it passed, then count the weeks, which is really cool. Uh, one other example I think is kind of cool, and again, just just an idea of how you can gamify this. If I put in an enemy generator, I'll put it right here, we can say whenever this 
delay completes and it turns night, generate an enemy. And then we could say, when daylight comes, it's like completed. Kill the enemies. So now all of a sudden we've created the situation that um, we can have enemies spawning at night, which is really cool, almost zombie-esque, uh, and then but they're all kill vampire-esque when the sun rises. So that's pretty much it. All we need to do now is reset gameplay. So we stand on the start this thing kicking off. And that should start working now. Okay, and there you have it. So this tutorial is complete. It's now time to turn it over to you guys. What do you think a really good use for this uh, day-night cycle would be in a toy box? Uh, let us know in the comments. Just let me escape this this guy so we can see him destroy, get destroyed when the sun shows up. Um, I, I kind of was inspired immediately when I thought about a day-night cycle by that indie game Don't Starve. Um, and anyone who hasn't heard of that, then basically the idea is that at night time enemies come out and you sort of have to survive the night. And then during the day you sort of can go out and collect resources. Um, and I think something similar could work with this idea. So have enemies spawning at night, you kill them, collect resources, then during the day spend your resources and set up defenses. Then you could set up a, um, you could set up harder and harder waves of enemies for each night. And maybe then set you've got to survive, you know, a fortnight, which is two weeks, and be tracking that by other counters. There's many ideas you could have using this. Uh, at the very least, it's quite an attractive thing, like the way that the light changes and stuff like that. But you let me know what you think you would be a good use for this, uh, and we'll discuss it in the comments. And hopefully, we can come up with some really cool toy boxes ideas. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new here so that you can catch all future tutorials coming up. I myself have got a really cool toy box under construction using this uh, day-night cycle. Can't wait to show it to you guys. And um, look forward to your creative ideas in the comments. Thanks for watching guys.